Come along with me for an August garden tour. This is our back garden and it has completely exploded. This is completely new. This is our second round of broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. The sunflowers are kind of dying out. Our bean beds actually really came back. We've been getting a lot of green beans. Tomatoes have completely taken over along with this butternut squash plant. We are going to be swimming in them very soon. We have some peppers ready. This sunflower just snapped and died. Over here is a complete jungle. I can't even get in between the cherry tomatoes in our regular garden bed. This butternut squash is all just one plant and it's even gone all the way through here. Our apple trees are looking pretty good. This poor tomato cage cannot handle the amount of tomatoes that this is growing. I've realized that I don't even think I need to plant cherry tomatoes next year because I think I'm going to have so many volunteers just from our in-ground space. This could be a problem. It's so hard to get back here. There are so many tomatoes. This whole area is about to have some additions, so stay tuned for that. We have a lot of exciting things coming up. Now on to our main vegetable garden. This was our onion bed. As you can see, it still has some onions in it, but we've now planted some more brassicas and we have a couple brassicas left over from the spring. Over here, we have some tomatoes that I didn't know what to do with. And we also have a couple herbs. We have potato beds over here, more onions. This is our last broccoli that really needs to be harvested. And it's a side shoot. And I can't believe how big it is for a side shoot. These are the Brussels sprouts that I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to grow these next year because I feel like I can never grow them properly. This bed, we had all of our cauliflower and broccoli, which we have since taken out and put new plants in. And we have a couple carrots. Our sweet potato bed and our tomatillo beds are taking off. This is basically just celery, but there are a few other herbs in here. More sweet potatoes. And then we have our eggplants that once again, I haven't done anything with, so they look bad. They're still getting attacked by these eggplant beetles or whatever they are, but we have been getting eggplants off of them. Eggplants were new for us this year and I've really been enjoying them. So I think next year I'm going to be planting way more of them. Please leave me the varieties you like to grow and what you like to do with them. Our carrot bed looks pretty good. I just never thinned it. So all of the carrots are kind of small as you can probably tell from my harvest videos. But honestly, I'm okay with that because they're still good and I'm still proud of everything we're getting out of it. Over here, we have the strawberries and then we have all of our tomatoes. We have this tomato bed and that tomato bed. This one is definitely getting hit with blight, but it's still loaded. I need to come through and probably cut all of the affected leaves out. So we'll get around to that eventually. There's just so many tomatoes. We also have the cutest zinnias. Look at this, she's stunning. We also have this one over here. I'm gonna have to plant like maybe a thousand more of these next year. Just look at them, they're so cute. And this is more cherry tomatoes and peppers. Why I planted so many cherry tomatoes, I'll never know. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Now these two containers have basically everything. They're sweet potatoes, peppers, kale, different herbs, just everything you can think of. I actually need some of this for tonight, so. This year we grew pie pumpkins, which was new for us, and they have been pretty cute. I'm kind of protecting this one over here. I don't know if it's actually working, but so far it's been fine. I feel like a lot of the female flowers have fallen off before they've even bloomed, but we still have three good pumpkins. So I'm hopeful we get a few more, but I'm still happy with whatever we get. We also had this other squash variety that's kind of done nothing. Same with our cucumber. Now on the deck, we have all of our small cabbages and some celery, and these have been delicious. We've harvested two so far of them, and this one already looks like it needs to be picked. And here I've planted some cilantro seeds, and then I also planted some lettuce. Then our ginger is finally starting to grow, which I feel like it's a little too late, but I guess I'll take what I can get. These are our citrus. We have the, a lime, a lemon, a variegated lemon, a type of orange, and then we just have an olive tree here. This lemon is doing super good. Same with the orange. Um, those two guys have seen better days, but that's okay. And this one also looks okay. These two pots are in desperate need of a water, so I will get to that soon. And that is all for my August garden tour. Thanks for coming along with me.